the uh, first step is pull piece. So this is the first step of a, a drive unit production. So you'll see here she's loading them onto uh, the pallets. So that'll go through and then the first amount of glue and then she'll add uh, the magnet on top of that. So no matter the drive unit, they all have this, this component, but it varies in, in size, obviously. So you can see here, you can come up close. So she's adding the, the, the magnets on. So glue machine applies the correct amount of glue. So it's an exact amount. On the other side of this machine, there's a little counter, which Tony reminded me of yesterday. On that counter, after so many drive units, they have to take a sample of the glue and make sure that it's, it's uh, tested and that it's valid still. Tony, can you grab one of the RF tags? The little RF tags. So the way the system works is off these, these little tags here. So these send an RF signal. So what we'll do in between changing a model, these will get installed here. And as it goes through the glue machine, it tells the glue machine to change its program. So different drive units require a different amount of glue and adhesive. So in theory, we could have this drive unit here, put one in here, have a different model there, one behind it, a different model, a different model, a different model. So you can make it one, twenty, a thousand, however many you need to. Thanks, bud. Okay. All right, so after the magnets installed, uh, next is the top plate and the, the chassis. Over here is where they'll attach the two and also put on the, uh, the terminal tag and add the serial number. So unlike the, dry, uh, the crossovers and the other electronics, the serial numbers are added from the, basically the, before it becomes a speaker. This way we can track it all the way through the process and make sure that it, does, it passes test and goes to the production line. So again, glue, They'll put the chassis on. So this makes sure that the components are lined up exactly the way they should be. So you can see there's room there. Without these, the glue could, the part could shift and then it could be, there could be no movement. So within that gap is where the uh, voice coil goes into. So it has to be perfect. If it's not perfect, it'll rub and scratch when the drive unit moves in and out. So we can show you down here. So this station here, they'll glue the voice coil to the spider. So she'll glue, glue these two parts together. The glue is applied on the bottom surface here. Oh, sorry. Okay, so this, this station is where the cone and surround get installed. So the glue is applied along the top edge 
of the chassis and then this is where the mating part is. So basically similar to all the other gluing machines. So the glue, first station glues for the central bit. It's on the inside here, so that's, you can see how it's gluing on where this will make. And then the next. Most of our glues, I believe, are from Hankel. So it's a large company. Most of it's imported. The conveyor system, actually, the gluing machines and the conveyor system were all originally sent here from the UK in 2006. So we've still been using the same machines, repairing them, repairing them. At the time, uh, when the UK, they've changed their lines slightly now, but at the time, these were exact copies of their machines. Same layout, same configuration, same everything. Yeah, because the, 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 the first new development is from UK. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and exactly. the new parts. Uh, yeah. Okay, so at this station, she's soldering the, the tinsel wires to the tag terminals. So she adds a little bar underneath, so that she basically gives the right shape and the right length of how much needs to be there. Solders that, then adds a bit of glue on the end just to cover it up. Okay, almost done. Before test is magnetizing. So they'll put the drive units into these pots here, add a voltage and magnetize the magnets. So once they're magnetized, then they can go to test. So the, the expensive adhesives that we use allow us to basically, within 25 minutes, glue to test. Whereas most other companies use a cheaper glue, which means you have to do that process, put it on the side, wait, tomorrow now you can use it. The glue is so important. It's very important, very important. So, so for, for magnetizing it, uh, how much time? Just a few seconds or? Yep. Oh. Okay, only that's one second. It's one second. But, but the machine needs to charge maybe two or three seconds. Right. 